Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool refrigerator door gasket. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instruction sheet and the new door gasket. The main reason you'd be changing out the refrigerator gasket if it's torn or it's compressed over the years and it's no longer sealing the door. Before you take this upper hinge off, you want to make sure that you open the door and make sure you remove any items out of the door bins. So when you take the hinge off, there's no weight on the door. First thing we have to do is remove the cover. It's just snapped in place. All you have to do is pull up on it and it'll come off. Then we have to remove these three bolts. They're 5 sixteenths. You can use a socket or a nut driver to take them out. Once you have the bolts out, all you have to do is lift the hinge off, make sure you don't lose your spacer, and then we can lift the door off. If you're doing a freezer door gasket, this hinge cover may be held on with a screw, and if you have the dispenser, it's probably going to have a wiring harness in there that you have to disconnect. And then at the bottom, we have to look underneath the kick plate, and there's a water line that runs up to the dispenser that you have to disconnect and pull up through the hinge. All you have to do is snap it off. It's held in by a clip on each end, and the water line is right here. It runs up through the hinge in the door. So it has a compression fitting right here that you can just disconnect and pull the nut off. Now that you have the hinge off, we're ready to lift the door off. You can remove any tape you put on it to hold it in place. All you have to do is pull it off on the door and lift it off the hinge. Now that you have the door off the refrigerator, we can set it on a table and get ready to change out the gasket. The first thing you want to do is take your gasket and lay it out in the sun or get it in some hot water to get all the creases and wrinkles out of it. Sometimes when they ship them, they come with uh, some creases in the, in the gaskets and you need to get those straightened out before you put it on. So before we cut the old gasket off and it can't be reused, we're going to lay the gasket out above the old one just to make sure we have the right one and there's no problems. So it looks like it's about the right size. If you do this and you find out you got the wrong one, just need to give us a call. While you have the gasket sitting outside or soaking in some hot water to get the kinks out, we can take the old, start to take the old gasket out. What you have to do is carefully peel it back. You want to start in the middle of one of the longer sides of the door and you peel it back and then you can take your wire cutter and snip the gasket all the way into the door liner. With the gasket pulled out, we can take our wire snips and snip the gasket until we get up close to the door liner. Once we get up to this point, we can very carefully pull on it to get it to come out from underneath the door liner. And then once we have it all the way out, we can cut it the rest of the way. Okay. Now that we have the door gasket cut, we can pull it out. You want to make sure that you pull straight out this way on it. Don't pull up, otherwise you'll separate the inner and the outer door liners. They're not made to come apart, so you just want to pull straight out, work it all the way around the door. Once you get the old gasket out, you can take a putty knife and put some tape about three quarters of an inch up and run it around in between the outer door and the inner door, making sure that you push it in the whole way. You want to get rid of any of the loose foam or any chunks of foam that might be caught in this groove. 
that when you try to put the new gasket on, it's going to bind you up and not allow you to push it in. So don't go any deeper than three quarters of an inch though. Here's the old door gasket next to the new door gasket. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. The new gasket is a little bit different than the old one. It has this hard plastic edge that actually goes underneath the lip of the door liner, whereas the old one was all rubber. So when you're tr pushing the hard plastic part underneath the liner, you want to use something that's not sharp, and you can press up against this edge of the gasket right here to get this underneath the lip. Don't use anything sharp that's going to tear the new gasket though. And you want to do the opposite corners first. So we're going to do this corner, and then the other opposite corner, and then the other two corners. So with the gasket laid out, we're going to start at the bottom corner over here. And this, again, this black piece is what's going to go up underneath the door liner right here. So we're going to stick it underneath, try to get it started. Once we have it in there, then we can use the tool to push it up into place. If you can get it with just your finger, it may be a little bit looser, but you may have to press on it with a tool. So we got that bottom side in. So we're going to finish up this corner and do this edge a little bit up, and then we're going to go up and do the opposite corner. All right, so we're in the upper opposite corner. We're going to get the black piece underneath the door liner and get it started. And then we can do a little bit going up this way. The gasket seems a little bit short. Sometimes they stretch a little bit, so you might see them and it looks like it's really short. If it looks like it's a half inch short or so, all you have to do is stretch on it and it'll stretch out a little bit. All right, now we'll go down and do the other bottom corner and then come back up and do this one. Now that we have the corners in, we can use our tool and go around the outer edge of the door and put the rest of the gasket in. Now that we have the gasket installed, we can go reinstall the door. All we have to do is set it down on the lower hinge. Close the door. We can put the hinge back on. They're five. They're five sixteenths inch bolts. All you have to do is tighten them down with a socket or a nut driver. Once you have the bolts in, we can put the hinge cover back on. If you're doing a freezer door, you just have to put the nut back on the water line and retighten it. Then once you get the water line back in, all you have to do is snap the kick plate back in place. Now that we're done installing the part, we can close the refrigerator door and the freezer door. Now that you're finished repairing your refrigerator, you can plug it back in, make sure it starts to cool off and goes back to its normal temperature. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.